on. ATD with the door hanging wide open. Anything could happen. People walk up and down oh. this hall just blaring profanities. Who knows? Anything could happen here. Yo, Bang. Welcome. Good to you. It's a tricky door. Uh, it's after the drill. It's Monday. Yeah. A beautiful Monday. What? what? A uh, short week for El Jefe. If you ever leave. El Jefe. Baby, you and Two day or this week? What a crock up bleep. Are you off. kidding me? Then he's off for, I believe, 900 straight days, it feels like. I've already set up. Very excited. We'll have Ryan Murphy uh, Friday. Like he's the, out in California. The famous television trip. producer? The famous backstroker, gold medalist from Jacksonville. That makes more sense on a world. Who once beat Tony Baselli. Yes. Um, now, Ryan Murphy race. beat Tony Baselli in a race when Ryan was, I believe, 10 four, or 11. Four yeah, years old? Four. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but Murph was like, what? He was a junior high swimmer yeah. at that point. Smoked him. And Big Bo got his big sausage filled fat ass up on the edge of the pool saying he could beat the kid in this way. But of course he couldn't. He's a this is one of the great moments in drill history. Doughy middle aged man. He's not going to beat a 13 year old training to be an Olympian. He's won a gold, multiple gold medals. Yeah, since then. So anyway, he'll be on the show. We'll have some other guys along the way. We'll sure have a we good will. week. So sure we will. I got some things cooking. We're going to get crazy, man. Mike gonna drink that brown water. Pet path to be odd. Who knows? Kick it nuts. So. Uh, yeah, but Pross will be up. Uh, he's running up to uh, my neck of the woods, up to Chi Town, mm -hmm. for some golf and hopefully a savage beating from uh, my baseball team yeah, as sure. the Braves roll in for four. Uh, your Mets came in at the splitter. Uh, Skyler says, "How about those Mets?" Hashtag Go Braves. Mm. Skyler. Read between the lines. Mets are having some <laughs> issues right now, Skyler. They got the split at Wrigley, but uh, we have Mickey. Uh, the Mickey Mouth, Mouth Club, Club. Is, is falling off the rails. You may get fired today. Mickey might get I fired would. today. Can you fire Vargas, too? I wouldn't. Well, he's actually pitched pretty good he's for pitched us. pretty good for you? Yeah, he's a jerk. Yeah, I don't like how you dubbed him the gas can, and now he like he comes in Wrigley and he handles his business. I yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Do you see uh, how slow he threw, though? Did you very, watch that game? Very. I mean, he just, like... Lobs it up there when he gets lobs, it done. Yeah. You know, it's like when Bart was with you guys. He's like Bart, but less fat. Yeah. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, let's see. It's a uh, it's a uh, wonderful time. Free agencies next week for the NBA. Bro. That's crazy. Now it's looking like Kawhi might go back to Toronto. Um, the Knicks are going hard after three guys. If they don't get any of the three, they're not going to force it, which is probably smart. Sounds like my summer of dreams in 2010. Yeah, our summer of dreams is going to blow up again. But yeah. at least we got RJ. Got hope, man. See what happens. RJ, uh, RJ will highlight the summer league opener, Dan. Yeah, week. against Zion. Against Zion. Yeah, Knicks and uh, Pels to yeah, open up the summer league. We're, we're going we're to send a message when RJ goes for thirty seven. A message. Yeah, delivered. We will not be messed with. We will not be messed with. The Knicks are here. They're playing for keeps. No, we had a fun day today. It was a good it show. It was a good time. It was fun. Uh, Jeff caught the ire of numerous fan bases and uh, sects of society today. He was on one today. You don't read all the um, texts. I read a good portion of. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes they get a little off color. Yeah. They do. Sometimes the responses get a little off color. Yeah. But uh, Prosser uh, uh, had a heated debate in the 6 o'clock hour with some of the uh, text line Googans about the uh, the issue with the foul ball striking the lady Joshua. at Dodgers Stadium. Yes. Uh, you know, it's now it's what, like the third time this year that somebody's yeah, struck with the ball. And them, those, the conversation just keeps coming up. Well, Major League Baseball's got to do something about the baseballs, too. They wound them tight or the something. They wound them super tight. Yeah, I mean, these guys are, hitting, crazy. guys are hitting pop flies well, in there. And look, somebody out. pointed out, I mean, it's nothing as Pete Alonso is having a great year. Yeah. But you can't say the ball's not juiced when Pete Alonso is breaking Daryl Strawberry's Mets rookie home run record. Yeah. You know, three weeks before the All Star break. Well, shoot, Christian Yelich has twenty nine yeah. home runs. Christian Yelich, he's not yeah, really a home run hitter. Not a home run hitter. It's, it, the ball is juiced. Like Christian and, Yelich should hit twenty nine home runs in a season and right. have a great year. Right, and that's a monster year for him. And he's got twenty nine already. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, but, all right. these guys are hitting the ball's the ball. juiced. The players are juiced. Uh, there's a lot going on. Well, there's a lot stuff, of juice. There's some stuff going on. So. A lot of juice going on yeah. right now. There's some stuff going on. There's some stuff going on. If you ain't uh, cheating, you ain't trying in baseball. Uh, I had a Google text late in the show, so we didn't really get a chance to address it. Okay. Uh, the paper had an article speaking with like a cap expert guy, mm -hmm. speculating that Yannick Ngakwe is going to ask for $21 million a year. Now, this that's not a report saying it's coming from Yannick's camp. Right. It's more a, a guy who, from overthecap.com, who that's probably what he would studies want. the cap, right. speculating based on the market and what right. these other guys got, that that's what he's going to ask for. Right. Uh, is that what he'll ask for? I don't know, but I'm inclined to think that if he has another year this coming season like he's had previously, I'm okay with that. Well, he can ask for it after this year. Yeah. But if he asks for it this year, he ain't going to get it's it. It's hard. It's hard. I don't think he's going to get it. I don't think he's going to get it this year. And um, the only thing that worries me a little bit is 
he's only making two million this year. Right. So it ain't like he's missing out on now. He's missing a year of getting accrued right. of work time towards his pension and stuff. But it's not like he's like Le'Veon Bell and giving up fifteen million dollars or you know fifteen million dollars. Right. He's only giving up a couple. Right. The you, you know why play? Yeah. Why not sit out this year and then Maybe see so. what you get? Maybe so. I've, I'm just wondering out loud. I yeah. Mean, is that, yeah. I'm, and, and I'm, I'm sure probably somewhere. asking everybody else's opinion on it. I mean, I'm it, sure what, somewhere in his circle that's been at least floated. You would think. You know. Mm-hmm. Do you do you gamble a career-ending injury for two million dollars, or do you sit on it? It's my gift today. This came uh, walked in, escorted in, guns hand and delivered. Boys. The uh, guns and roses. The guns and hoses. I love that dirty water. Ironically. This seems more like it would be a gift for the Guns N' Roses crowd, but this came from the Guns N' Roses crowd. Uh, a sweet bottle of Jack emblazoned with, uh, with the FOP logo. Yeah. Uh, it's loud. The plastic on it's very loud. I'm sorry. This is what we're going to do for the rest of after the show. Just going to crank it up so you can't hear anything we say. All you're going to hear is just crinkle. Uh, yeah. I'm assuming that's a raised topic. Even if they go to the stadium in St. Pete, the people won't come. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, that's right. People don't want to drive to St. Pete. It doesn't matter. It's not the ballpark. Okay. It's the commute. Well, then don't be mad if they move. Right. To then, not St. Pete, but to Montreal. Montreal. Or Portland. Portland. Charlotte. Las Vegas. Right. Charlotte. One of those. Charlotte, Charlotte would be a good spot. The Charlotte Rays. Oh, you love it. I love it. All right, we got to go. I got to go get my kid. You got to get your kid? ATD. Why don't you make him walk? It's good for his he character. Should run. He run should run home. home. Run fast. Run fast. Run free. Character. Run fast. Run free. I like that idea. I mean, how far could it be? Let's call it. A couple miles? Get out there. All right, good kids. We'll see you tomorrow. It's a Super Tuesday. Don't forget to rock the vote. We love you. Amen. Rock it.